What up, y'all? Welcome back. 106 Apart, BET's Top 10 Live. It is that time to bring out the guest of the day. That's right, y'all. On the eve of their first major label release as a group, we got 50 Cent, Lloyd Banks, and Young Buck, otherwise known as G-Unit in the house. Give it up, yeah. y'all. Yeah. What's up? Oh. What's up? What's up? Got the G unit sneakers. You must do that for a living. You do that for a living? What up, y'all? I did work at a shoe store, so I'm I'm showing my skills right there. See how how y'all how y'all feeling right now? Tomorrow comes out the group effort. Yeah. What's going through your minds right now? Oh man, I'm excited, man. Thanks for mercy. Yeah, man. So how can you can you tell me the story? How did all y'all come together as a group? Oh man, Banks, I know Banks all my life. He lived around the corner. Banks lived a few Blocks away from me, you know, Black. Banks and Yayo. Yeah. Right there. And Buck, I met Buck through Juvenile. Okay. Yeah. What about Yayo? How's Yayo? Yayo, he's cool, man. Yayo be home like two weeks after the release of now the album. You, now, how'd you meet Yayo? You grew up together too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, let's talk about this album. It's in stores tomorrow. It's called Beg for Mercy. Yeah. Go get it. Let's talk yeah. about the title. Yeah. Who came up with that title? Oh, man. Yeah, I came up with the title, yeah. man. I was speaking to my peers okay. in the music business. When you're saying beg for mercy? Yeah, they okay. could beg for mercy, man. But you just gonna keep coming? I'm gonna keep, keep coming. coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beg for mercy. Wow. Now, oh, oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I got more questions, but 50 got my mic, so I'm just gonna sit up here and <laughs> ease back. And well, just, you know. Okay, I got you. you. You said you were talking to the peers in the, yeah. in the music industry? Yeah. Is that what you oh, want? Is that? Okay. <laughs> Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, you know. Now, now the album was bootlegged. How does that affect it? Is it a bad thing or a good thing? Oh, man, I think the urgency is a good thing. Mm -hmm. You know, when people are that excited about it, they want to see what's going on, man. I heard that y'all have some golden tickets or something inside this CD. Yeah, we got four golden tickets. You know, somebody's going to be lucky enough to spend $10 and win $50,000 worth of jewelry. So there's four four of those inside the CD? Yeah, there's four different tickets. Wow. They got, there's also information in the packaging. Mm-hmm. If you can use the money, you can have the money instead of the jewelry. Okay. So, so how about pack? Yeah, they're winning, winning, winning the spinner. It's a smaller version of the G unit spinner. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Spinner, spinner, spinner. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's not a game. All right, we got more with G unit in a minute. We got to give away some sneakers to the audience. We're going to kick it yeah. with that. My yeah. mic working he again. Got a mic now. Went, okay, go ahead. Lord. Hey, hi. We got G Unit up in the house. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, we in here. Alpha stores tomorrow. Now, Tony Yayo is. Y'all ain't yeah. playing in here. Okay? Yeah. 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 Now. That's my homies right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta love it. You guys are about Yayo. I'm Yayo, man. Oh, man. Yayo. Yayo will be home two weeks after the release of the album. So. Oh, that's hot. So now he's yeah, on yeah. the album. Now he's on the album. Is this stuff you recorded before on y'all? Yeah, it was in? prior to his incarceration. Okay. You know, but the records that we had recorded at that time period was ready to come out then. Yeah. Okay. And I saved them. You how, know? how many records have y'all done? Like, uh, and how, we got, how in the world did y'all pick? I got the a lot of album? records. Like, yeah. like did we just not using? Just, mm-hmm. just, just sitting. sitting there. How did y'all pick the records for this album? Because I, I hear that y'all are constantly in the studio. Yeah, we did the majority of this record on the Rock the Mic tour. Okay. You okay. know, and it, it was incredible out mm-hmm. there. It was myself, Jay Z, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Yeah. That's the line. Everybody. Was Everybody. Crazy Everybody. Yeah. Now, rumor has it there might be another one. Are you gonna participate in the other one? Yeah, man. I mean, Jay's album's coming out on the same time. It's on the same day. Rock the mic next time movie. Yeah, man. If he's gonna go out on, on a tour, I mean, he's saying he's gonna retire. <laughs> But yeah. I don't think he's gonna walk away from what that. Do kind of that? Like, what, what do you think about that? Yeah, what do you think about Jay saying he's gonna retire? Each one of y'all tell me what you think about Jay retiring. <laughs> well, too he, short he comes in. We got him tomorrow. We got him tomorrow in. here. Too short retired a few times, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, yeah, I, I, I think everything. this is a. It's, um, 
he's serious. I think he's serious about it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think um, eventually he, he loved the music. Yeah, you know, so he's so gonna be back. Mm-hmm. You ever think, think so. about doing anything like that? Retiring? <laughs> no. Oh no! No! <laughs> no! 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 no. no. I no, know no, 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 no. Now, now, young buck, like, talk about some of the titles of the songs on the album, or, or a record that you really is close to you on this album. Uh, one of my favorite records on the album is a uh, title "G'd Up." Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. G'd Up. Yeah. All right. Who's on it's, that? Um, it's, a, it's a it's a collaboration of me, Lloyd Banks, and um Fifty. Okay. You know, produced by Dr. Dre. Some real life produced by Dr. Dre. Okay, some real life now, experiences on there. Now, what was it like? You know, going in the studio with Dr. Dre for y'all and then working with him. It was a, it, just to be in the same studio with Dr. J so is an honor, you know? It right? was a real fast process, a, this go around, though. Because yeah. really? we went, we recorded all four of the records that we did with Dr. Dre in one day. Really? Yeah. Right Y'all are focused. The, wow. We were shooting a real focused. We were shooting a video. We <laughs> shooting Stunt 101, mm-hmm. and we shot the, the following day, we did all four of the records. Two of them I, he co-produced with High Tech. High Tech, okay. yeah. And two of them he did, you know. All right, well, y'all How, how do you go about, like, picking the producers that you want to work mm. with on the album? Usually, I, I take the CDs. As soon as we get them and burn it onto another CD that doesn't have a, a label on it. Mm-hmm. So you don't know who it so is. So we don't know whose CD it is. And then we just pick the music after mm-hmm. we hear. So there's no bias and there's no yeah. like, I don't want, okay. That That's why sense. you see producers on the record that haven't um, produced any other records. A lot before. of new up and coming. Who's some young ones, you, new people, to put people you worked with? We got um, Mitty Mafia. Okay, big on up. 21 yeah, they questions. 21 yeah, questions. yeah, shout uh, to them. Yeah. Knots on there. Knots. Nah, I have no idea. All right, what about col- collaborations? Is there anyone other than G Unit on the album? Joe is on the record. Joe, well, yeah, Jackson. Jackson. Joe. Yeah. What yeah. record is that? What, what record? I want to want to get to know you. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, okay. He's Jackson. a ladies' man, and oh, may not at Joe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to come we, back, talk yeah. more with G-Unit. Yeah, and we got a joint with Butch Cassidy, West Side. West Side. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to number four joint. We're going to come back. We got to talk about the sneaker line sneaker and all, all the that. stuff you got going on. Not, not yeah. get it off. Yeah. We got G-Unit in the house on the couch. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Talking. Now. now <laughs> yeah. You all came, gave us gifts, but y'all have gifts for the audience too, right? Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, man. We got gotta some, give them. So we gotta pick who you're gonna give them to. Some right? gift yeah, certificate. Maybe the loudest. I don't know. You wanna. Yeah, you, you, you wanna stand up 50, pick somebody, pick the, somebody 50's out. He's gonna pick a couple of people. Where are the gifts? Yeah. Young lady in the front. Which one? The, the lady? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, young buck. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Lloyd, who you gonna pick, Lloyd? Your man with the Memphis dude. Yeah, you Lloyd. get to pick one more, 50. Uh oh. You get to pick one more. You got somebody, you got somebody, you got somebody Lloyd. 50, pick one more, 50. One more, 50. Yo. Where? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so all of y'all are gonna get the G Unit sneaker. Alright, y'all so gonna get the G Unit sneaker. Don't move, y'all. We'll be back more than <laughs> 106 Park. Keep it locked, y'all. BET's top 10 live. We got here with G Unit yeah. in the house. Album is out tomorrow. Yeah. In stores tomorrow. Back for mercy. Now, 50, I hate to do this, but the, the, the rumors on the street that people want to know what's going on with you and uh, Miss Fox. Some hot uh, pictures in that magazine that y'all there's had. A lot of, there's a lot of pictures. Yeah. You showed up yeah. at the photo shoot. Oh, man. Vivica's a sweet person, but we're not hanging out with each other the way they think we're hanging out okay. with each other. Okay. All right. Now, we heard you bought this big house. In, yeah, in Connecticut. Bought, Tell us um, about that. Do you ever Mike get, Tyson's old house. Yeah. Uh. yeah? Do you ever get to see it? Not much. Hey. I'm on the road so much, you know. You throw a house party or nothing yet? Nah, but when I do throw a house party, they're going to want to move me out the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's going it's down. It's going down. Now, tell, tell us something about this house. We hear it's like the biggest house. Yeah, it's the biggest house in Connecticut. Like, wow. Yeah. 18 bedrooms. Really? Yeah, it's just kind of big. Whoa. You, got, you plan on having a big family? Nah, nah, you know, I just got a crew. So okay. Big crew. I got a whole, big crew. I got the left side. And I got the left side. He got the left side. I got the right wing. I know. <laughs> that's right. Well, I hope he get to spend some time there. All right, y'all. We're going to yeah. talk more with G-Unit. We come back right now. It's number two. Got yeah. it. G-Unit, G-Unit up in the, in the house. house. Yeah. Here we go. Now, we just played a, the Jaru video. Now, it was big new. I know. That's right. G-Unit. Y'all are still going. Okay. Yeah. So it was big news last week when Jaru met with Farrakhan. First, I wanted to ask you, did you get to see the interview? Yeah, I got a chance to see the interview. I was on um, a radio show in Atlanta. Atlanta. We was in okay. Atlanta. Cocoa Brothers. I, um, when I got a chance to see it, you know, I, I was trying to be open to the situation. Mm-hmm. 
originally because I didn't know whether it was real or not. Mm -hmm. And then I watched it. And then it was like the the first after the first break. Because he was talking about his like his upbringing, mm -hmm. you know. And then he was like, um, <clears throat> how he was he didn't get a chance to have Christmas, mm -hmm. or you know he didn't um, have birthday. That's because how I felt. So I was like, was oh. But he was a Jehovah <laughs> Witness, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But then I didn't understand it because if that's your religious beliefs, then you know, then you believe in that. Like mm -hmm. that's you know that's the way you was raised, and that mm -hmm. that's not. I think the people who Jehovah Witness probably dislike him after seeing something like that. Things yeah. that were on. Mm -hmm. Now you open. I think. Well, you know, everybody thinks it was an attempt to try to make peace or whatever. That, that's what yeah, some I people think, say. Now, do you? Feel I think like Minister you? Farrakhan made an honest attempt at. Mm -hmm. okay. you know, Are you going to sit down with, with the minister? You think? I love to meet point? Minister Farrakhan. You know, mm -hmm. I, um, I don't think the young. A lot of the younger kids I don't understand the significance of Minister Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. But you know, like my grandparents totally do. You know, mm -hmm. so I, I would have to answer to them if I didn't. Sit down. You know, go to have that meeting at first, because then after I've seen it. So, you think you're gonna actually sit down? and You just want to meet him, or are you gonna sit down and have the the interview? Just nah, I, I'm not interested in having an interview. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't think that that's that's how you accomplished anything. Like, that wasn't an attempt to honestly resolve the situation because mm -hmm. you need mm -hmm. both sides to resolve a situation. What if it's the three of y'all? Huh? What if it's the three of y'all, the minister and Ja? There's no Off situation. Camera. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look. I'm officially saying I don't have no problems with this guy. In the music business, you're as hot as the music you put out. His music isn't hot. He's saying he's going to clap back. He's watching this guy, and that, it is what it is. Okay. You know? So you have no desire to sit down and, and try nah, to No, I don't even, okay. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't mention him if they didn't mm -hmm. mention him to me. Okay. What if it was, what if it wasn't on air? What if it was an interview that was off air and it was you I all? I love it. It wasn't an interview. Behind it was really a, just like a behind discussion. Behind the scenes, I meet Minister Farrakhan anytime, you know? And What about Mr. Farrakhan and Ja? Bishop Eddie Long, huh? Minister Farrakhan and right. Ja behind doors? Would you do that? I'm not interested in meeting okay. Ja Rule. Right, like, that's, okay. We're never going to be friends. Okay. You know, like he can do what he do, I do what I do, mm -hmm. and it is what okay. it is. You know? You're keeping it, you're keeping it like. Yeah, I'm not pursuing the situation. Okay. So I don't see where there's a problem. It's okay. just, it's just he got to do what he do and I do what I do. There's people that don't like each other. All over the world. Go through life all day. Yeah. 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 All right. I mean, I think, I think you're right. I think people just look at what, what's on record so much, you know, back and forth with each other. And that's why have, they make it in the media, you know, so on much. On so for Mercy, there is absolutely no references about him. Nah. His, you know, that's right. good. his new really? CD, no, everything that is. You know, his record isn't good because you can't get out of focus on me. Mm. Okay. You know? All right. That's from 50 Cent's mouth 50 up next. Cent. We got the old school joining the day. Keep it locked right here. We'll be back. Be right back, y'all. Keep it locked. Big for mercy. Go get it. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to 106 and Park, BT's Top 10 Live. We got G Unit in the house. Now that album "Beg for Mercy" is in yeah. stores tomorrow. No now, doubt. And also tomorrow. That's is right. Rock the mic tour. Made Jay Z's the Black so album. There's a lot going on yeah. in stores tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's now, a big Friday tomorrow. Yeah. Now I'm yeah. Jay Z with time. We've been doing like old school joints from Jay Z all week. Do y'all have a favorite old school Jay Z? Uh, oh, video, record. Like, what's yeah. your favorite? Can't knock the hustle. Can't yeah. That's yes. Nah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, man. My favorite joint is. Uh, ain't no, ain't like ain't the no one I got. Like, okay. Yeah, I got the one. 